Hey guys, before we begin today's video, I just want you to know that over here at the Starbucks inside the casino, they usually charge a dollar plus tax for a cup of water, right? And then so I was like, oh man, you gotta pay a dollar for it? And the lady told me that, hey, if you buy something, then we'll give you a cup of water for free. I'm like, is that right? So a week later, right, I got an idea. What if the thing I buy to qualify for the free cup of water is indeed a cup of water? Oh my goodness, guys. So I put it to the test today and it worked. Two cups of water for $1.08. All right, now the video. Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic. Welcome to Miscellaneous. All right, now let me make sure there's nothing nefarious in frame that, you know, is going to cause me trouble. All right, not that there would be any. So, what's this thing over here? Oh my goodness, it's like a whole bunch of stuff. Never mind the stuff, guys. So, today, I'm gonna tell you more about my YouTube journey, guys. You know, I don't think there's any school programs on how to do YouTube, you know, like, like, all this stuff kind of came on its own, you know? Like, where's the formal training and stuff like that? Who knows these things, guys, right? You know, like uh, production work, stuff like that. You know, choosing equipment. All this kind of like, uh, you got to do it on your own. So, I have here, cardboard box. What's in it? Something that I believe would help me make my videos better. All right, so I will tell you lately what I've been using to uh, record stuff. Uh, uh, uh. DJI Osmo Pocket 3, off which the screen is so tiny, itty bitty, teeny weeny, you know, yeah, so very tiny screen guys, right? So, uh, there is an app that will project it onto like your phone, right? But still, that is pretty small. And because of small preview, I've noticed that there are some videos that uh, were like technically incorrect due to uh, me not seeing the error on the small screen. And then I don't realize it until after everything's been done and it's like, oh crap. You know, error, you know, so uh, the app works with uh, Android phone and iPhone, like iOS, right? The app developers did not make an app that is like specifically for tablets, you know, but tablets can run uh, phone apps, right? Android app for the phone can be run on Android tablet. iPhone apps can be run on iPads, right? It's just that when it comes to iPads, right? It's, it'll, it'll, it'll look like as if you got a phone. And then and you can press a button and it'll pop a little bit bigger. But then it can only do so much, right? I found that... I wanted a bigger screen to able to uh, to be able to record with, and the bigger screen I tried like uh, several different things: the iPad Pro, the iPad Mini, uh, Lenovo M11, right? And uh, basically, I find that the the big 11-inch stuff, right? I mean, like the image is good. But then uh, when it comes to like making the video, I got nowhere to put it. It's too big, guys, right? Now, the iPad mini would have been fine if only the app inside was stretched all the way out to the edge, but it didn't. So it was barely better than the phone itself. Right? I, found, I found that the Lenovo M11, right? The, the app extended all the way to the edge, which is great. But that sucker is too big. So, I got this as a compromise. Now, this is a compromise, guys. 
The Lenovo, uh, the Lenovo M11 is a low resolution screen. I didn't like it at all. You know, I can see all the pixels. It's not like looking at an iPad and the price of the Lenovo reflects that, right? The iPad mini got great resolution, but it doesn't work, right? So here I have, and I'm not returning this guys. I bought it from Lenovo.com. I'm going to keep it no matter what, even if I could see all the pixels because I'm, not, I'm done looking. I'm done looking. There was one tablet I wanted to get. It was the Lenovo Legion Y700 or something like that. It is a gaming tablet with a high resolution screen, price point $300, $350, well worth it, but they don't sell it in America, right? I looked online and I could get it from uh, AliExpress from China and stuff like that. I was like, why don't Lenovo release that thing in America, right? Because if you, I, I was about to buy it, then I read the firmware differences, you know, there's firmware differences, you know. You can't just put USA firmware on it like 100%. It's got to be kind of like made that way. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even going to chance it. You know, so I went with the Lenovo M9. Right? Here it is. Nine inches, guys. Nine inches is more than plenty. I thought it slides out, but it didn't slide out. Um. All right, Lenovo Tab M9. Very excited about this, guys. Oh, careful. And here it is. Nice and small. Yes, guys, this should fit. This should fit real good. Oh, it was uh, on sale on Black Friday, 98 bucks or something like that. And then plus shipping and the price of the case. Pretty good deal, in my opinion. Ah, oh, God, more of these things to cut. Here's the folio case. Screen protector my butt. I hate those things. Makes no sense. All right. So I guess we snap the tablet into the case. I wish the case would have been black though. 
All right. Does it hold? Holds pretty okay. Hmm. See what else it comes with. Uh, cable or something, charging brick, yada 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 yada. Can figure it out later. What's in here? Uh, nothing. The stupid screen protector. It's like, why? All right. And this nonsense. So let's turn it on, guys. Mm. Okay, one big button, one small button. Let's try the small button. Let's try the big button. Big button. Could it be totally dead? All right, let me try the big, small button, long press. One, two, three, four. Oh, there it is. So small button, long press. All right, so I'm going to set this up, download the app, and then uh, I'll show you what it does. So you don't have to keep waiting around. You won't believe this, guys. It has been, I'm guessing, two hours. Whoa. It is, it has been like downloading updates. It's been installing apps I never asked for. I don't know, right? So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's done. And uh, I can show you what's going on. Oh my heavens. Or maybe it's still updating. Okay. What happened to the facial unlock? This ain't no iPhone, guys. Ain't no iPad. Let's swipe up. Press unlock. Tablet is starting. I'm sure after it goes through this initial process, uh, it'll be a little quicker, a little snappier. I wonder if it's still downloading stuff. System has been successfully updated. Okay, very good. All right. Um, let's see. All right, so the app is called DJI Mimo. Let me click on it. And here it is, DJI. Got a scuba man. I agree. I don't know why I just agreed to. It's a huge paragraph. You know, I just agreed to everything. Smart rotate. Got it. DJI Mimo has stopped. Close app. Let's launch it again. Do not consider joining. Okay, it's loading resource. Let me unplug this so I can set this down. It's loading resource file. What's this? Try Gemini. No, I don't want to try. I don't even know what that is. Hmm. All right. 25, 30. It is loading. It is loading, guys. It is loading. Yep, 
you know, if DJI made a, uh, a good quality, you know, monitor, initializing, okay, all right, so, here I have, camera, all right, now I click, All right, so this is the app. So I click down here. Note, DJI would like to access mobile devices storage. Yes, fine, okay. Allow DJI, I mean, will access photos. Yes, allow, yes. Okay, click. Right, join. Note, scanning device requires system positioning to be, yes, okay. Use location, okay, very good. Now, would like to access your location, okay. While using the app. Allow. Okay, now I press this here. DJI device not found, it's on. Enable Bluetooth on your mobile device. Oh, I gotta turn on the Bluetooth, guys. All right, how I turn on the Bluetooth. I'm surprised it's not just on by default. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up. Settings. Bluetooth on. Okay, Bluetooth is on, guys. So let's go back to such app. Here we go. It should work now, guys. It should work. Bam. Searching. Connect. Oh, there's a code to verify on the device. Yes, accept the code. Okay. Connect. All right. Screen's not bright though. All right, I, I gotta tap away this notifications. Okay, now the screen is bright. All right, so here we have it. A, uh, the remote recording, right? See? All right, I'm sorry, all right? The title just said if you were bored, you know? <laughs> yeah, ain't, ain't much to uh, consider. Well, anyway, that's it. Let's hope this thing will come in handy and uh, help me create the better videos. We don't know these things, guys. Uh.